Hey guys, it is Sunday, October 20th, and this is the start of week vlog number 12. I'm really surprised that it's been 12 weeks already. Time is just really flying this year. I find as I get older, the weeks every year just gets faster, it seems like. Anyway, I am wearing my new sweater from yesterday. Uh, I, I, uh, I filmed... Ooh, words. Yesterday, I filmed a shop with me at the Disney store, our local Disney store at the mall. And um, that probably won't be up for a couple weeks. But stay tuned and look for that. I started a new schedule this week. Um, so weekly vlogs will upload every Sunday. And then every Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to upload like standalone videos. So like shop with me, tours, um, re like next, this... So this, during, during <laughs> the YouTube, like, time warp is weird. So I'm filming right now on a Sunday, and on Tuesday and Thursday, I have two things scheduled to come out. So you will see them before, right, before this week vlog gets uploaded. <laughs> Woo, man. Anyway, so I'm doing a fun thing. Um, Nick bought me a, a facial slash like a mini massage they do a little massage when you get this facial facial oh man i'm struggling today <laughs> um so i am just i just got here i'm about 15 minutes early for my um appointment so i thought i would check in and say hi and um just tell you what i'm up to so i'm gonna go get my facial and i will see you guys after happy sunday Welcome to the new week vlog. That was so relaxing. Holy cow. I really need a nap now. <laughs> um, this is the place that we went to. Indian Massage Company. And they are so good. That was so relaxing. I don't know if my face is red looking. It might be because they... Did a bunch of stuff to it, just put goop all over it, and it was so relaxing. I almost fell asleep a couple times. If you're in the Indianapolis area, which I know most of my people who are subscribers right now probably are, because you're my friends or whatever. So um, if you are in Indianapolis, I highly recommend these people. So I'm in Nick's car. There's not enough like arm space to do this, but. I just got to Kroger because we ran out of um, stuff to make coffee and lattes. Like Nick went all week without taking coffee to work because we didn't have any um, creamer. And then I just ran out of milk yesterday so I couldn't even make us lattes this morning. But it's funny where I live. It's very, it's just, it's funny. So I drove into the parking lot and there was a gentleman in a full out red suit, red pants, red um, suit jacket, red and white, um, hat. It's just like styling. He was full on styling today. And it's Sunday, so a lot of people probably went to church, so I totally get it. But it's just, it's just funny where I live. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some stuff from Kroger and then go home. Yay. Happy Monday. This is a typical fall day in Indiana. <laughs> it's raining and windy, which you probably hear, and cold. Ooh. I was enjoying the not rain. <laughs> it's not as fun. Our tree is getting some changes. Just <laughs> a couple of leaves are starting to change color. Look down there, all the leaves are falling off.
pretty is this tree with this sky? It's just like, oh, I love it. It's so folly. That tree is just really pretty. I'm a little obsessed right now with how beautiful the trees are around here. Oh, I love it. I'm always filming sunrises back here, but I'm rarely ever film sunsets and it's so pretty. I also don't have my wide-angle lens on. Maybe I'll go get that real quick. Oh yeah, there we go. Isn't it lovely? I love the lights coming in our from our are coming out from our house. Edie barking. <laughs> it's just so pretty. It's also really chilly out. I think my fingers are cold right now. <laughs> I'm so excited for fall and it's almost November, which means I can decorate for Christmas, right? <sighs> anyway. You guys are so silly. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I don't know what. <laughs> what are you doing? Also, sweeping the floor. That's what he's like. Are you just the sweetest boy ever? Are you the sweetest boy? Oh, nice burpee. That's my baby boy. Something fun is happening on Thursday. I can't wait to show you guys. And it involves these babies. Hi, precious. Sorry, TV is on. <laughs> Nick is at basketball tonight, so um, I'm watching my shows that I know that he hates, so we're just having a couch night. Ugh. I'm not sure, This is, he has never really sat right here, so I'm not sure what's happening, but it's adorable, so I'll take it. He's such a handsome boy. Look at that boy. So we're watching Say Yes to the Dress. And before that, we were watching uh, Counting On, a couple of guilty pleasure shows because they're really goofy and silly, and some would say, perhaps, that they're lame, <laughs> but I don't think so. I love it. excited and scared and nervous. I haven't had a tattoo in a long time, but I am getting one today. So technically I'm getting three, but it's one session for three tattoos. And I can't wait to show you guys. I'm super excited. I'm right in front of where I'm going, but they, they don't open until 11. So I'm just waiting like 20 minutes. It's 1044, so 16 minutes. This is, um, Fountain Square and it is very artsy and fun. It's just a really neat part of Indiana or Indianapolis. So I'm excited and nervous. I'm like, I have a little bit of like shaky hands just from excitement. So, okay, now we just wait. stopped in the super cute store because I have some time to kill before my tattoo. I just had to show you, it's so cute. I've never seen a persimmon before. There it is. Very cool. So I picked up a banana and some apple cider vinegar, which I need for a face mask I just ordered on Amazon. So, and the ladies are so nice. So cute. Alrighty. Got about 
have 10 more minutes. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. I just can't wait to see the designs. Like I showed them pictures of what I wanted and now I'm just sort of like waiting to see what it looks like when he does it, so. Other side. So look right here. Very exciting. We're doing it. <laughs> okay. So I, you saw I went to my tattoo appointment, and I was super excited. I'll put a picture up of what we discussed doing for my tattoo. And that is not what happened. I've been talking for a couple weeks to the tattoo artist's like assistant or whatever, and so he was like, I'll put all of this information into your file so that you can um, see it, and then you won't see the design until you come in um, to get it tattooed. And so I was like, okay. So I got there and he just had pictures of, I was gonna get um, Albert and Edie and a cat that I had before tattooed. And so he had the pictures printed out and I just thought he'll make a sketch from those after we like make sure that they look good, that he was gonna put circles around them. So I was like, okay, so we're just, whatever. So then he sketched it up and put the stencil on and you saw the stencil and it looks very much like the cat tattoo I was trying to reference. And I, I actually mentioned, like when I saw the, the cat tattoo that you did, I knew that I wanted you to do my pet portraits because I'd been thinking about it for a long time and that's, how, that's what I wanted. So all of that happened and then he starts tattooing, gets done with the first circle and Albert, and I go to the bathroom to pee and look in the mirror and it is photorealistic. If I had wanted photorealistic, I would have gone to the people who did Nick's tattoos that are like straight up, it looks like a black and white photograph on his arm. So if I had wanted that, I would have gone to someone whose specialty is photorealism. This guy's specialty is not that. His style is why I went to him. This guy doesn't even do photorealism, so why on earth would I think I better make sure he's not doing photorealism? But I mean, in hindsight, obviously I should have been like, now we're gonna do this, like this cat one, right? But like everything leading up to this point, I was thinking I, that never crossed my mind. It, it just never did. Like it never crossed my mind that we were doing something other than what I had discussed with his assistant. And after seeing the stencil, still no, no, no questions in my head. There was one time, like when he was doing it, it seemed like there was a lot of shading going on. But, I, but he said that he would do some shading like around in the circle. I'm just so confused. So he, I stopped after the first one because I was just like in shock. And I was like, I'm, let's be done now. Ah, oh, I'm so angry right now. disaster. I'm so disappointed. Oh, I'm so angry. Oh man, so this day, it's 
started out with so much hope and promise. <laughs> and yeah, that tattoo appointment just really bummed me out like all day, all day long. I was just like, I don't know, my brain has just been like racing. Man, I just hate it when things don't turn out the way you imagine that they will. In, in all, you know, reality, it's gonna be fine. There's a, um, a really talented tattoo artist in Kokomo, and he actually specializes in photorealism. So although I didn't actually want a photorealistic version of these tattoos, that's what we're going with. That's what we're going with. So, it's fine. I don't know if you can see, it's all liquidy right now inside of this plastic thing. It's gonna be fine. <sighs> I'm just gonna wait until the person who can do it properly is available. Let, let my, let my, <laughs> frustrating experience be a guide for you no matter how much you think your tattoo artist knows what you're going to get just double check and check again <laughs> like I just I did not in my wildest dreams imagine that this was gonna be an issue just because I thought we had done everything, had all the conversations, and I trusted someone to relay the messages, which I believe he did, and I trusted the tattoo artist who is supposed to do his job properly to read the notes that he's given, and I don't believe that that happened, obviously. Anyway, just choose your tattoo artists wisely. I've had two experiences now where I regretted getting what I got immediately, so it is not a good feeling. I will tell you that much. Just I just don't suggest it if you can help it. So let this be a lesson to you. Don't do what I did. Happy Thursday. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Holy cow. <laughs> My sister brought over a ton of plants that she needed to, um, I don't know if I get to keep them forever or if it's just for a while, but <laughs> look at all these new plants. I especially love this super tall guy. He is super cool. And this, I love that. Beautiful. It's Friday morning. What happened to sunrises? <laughs> Why is it it's so dark out? It's like 7.30 right now. Is this normal? I can't remember. Anyway. Good morning. It's Friday. I'm so sleepy. I stayed out too late last night again. I really need to go to bed at like... 10.30. Hello, <sighs> little babies, look. Our farmer's dog is here. So, I haven't talked about farmer's dog in a long time, and I don't want you to think we're not doing it still, because we are. We absolutely love farmer's dog. Um, these are quite a bit bigger this time. Look how thick that is. Um, let's see if I have an old one to show in comparison. Yeah. Whoa. That's a lot. So these are both Alberts. This is just his old portion. And um, I noticed when we went to the vet the last time, he weighed quite a bit less than he has in the past. 
he was, um, you, he's been up to like seven or tw 28 pounds and then he was closer like 27 and then at the vet the other day he was only 26 pounds and everybody is saying like oh he looks so skinny he looks so skinny and since it's winter he's I feel like he needs a little more meat on his bones so sound like an old lady <laughs> Eats meat on your bones. Anyways, so we upped his portions, which is really easy with Farmer's Dog. I just got online and emailed them and said, seems like Albert's getting too skinny. Can we up his like ideal weight to 27 or 28 pounds? And so they sent us more food for him this time. Oh, I need a bigger freezer. There's no space. Maybe I just need to get rid of crap I'm not gonna eat, more likely. All right, I'm gonna put this food away. I'll see you later. I love you. Bye. This is why we can't have nice things. I got in the shower. Nick was in his office. And I left my slippers by the door. So Edie decided to destroy them. They're like a week old. No problem. And I guess technically I could just put the thing back in there. That is so annoying. I just can't leave anything out. And these shoes have been out in the kitchen for the whole time that I've owned them. She knows, she knows she did a bad thing. <laughs> Why do you do it then? Hmm? Why do you do that? <laughs> Leave it. Leave it alone. Don't take my shoes. <laughs> Alright, so it's Saturday night. It has been just raining and gross and windy all day. So we did not do much today. Hey guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the week vlog here. Uh, it's Sunday morning, so I'm going to start our new one. And uh, yeah, thank you for following this week. I know it was a little on the dramatic side with all the tattoo fiasco. Um, I took the plastic off last night and took a shower to like clean it off and stuff. And it's really, it's a fine tattoo. It's, it's fine. If the, the thing is I expected one thing and then it got this, which it's just a, it was just not an ideal uh, experience. So in all honesty, it's a good tattoo. It's good. It's not, like I, I showed you Nick's photorealistic tattoos, and this is not quite on the same level as those, but I will just have that tattoo artist do Edie and my cat, and, um, and then just put, get this Albert one on the same level as those two. <sighs> It'll be fine. So I'll put a picture in here. Um, so you can see what it looks like when I took off the plastic last night and after my shower. So it's fine. It's fine. I don't, I don't hate it. It's fine. It was just very shocking when it wasn't what we had discussed. So anyway, thank you again for following along this week. If you enjoyed this week's vlog, dramatic as it was, uh, please do give it a like and subscribe. That would be super helpful. Um, and I will see you guys next week. <laughs>